the Lord of hosts is the King of glory. Let's stand up. We're going to pray before we start the meeting. Father, in the name of Jesus, every gate that leads to a lututu in the spirit realm and on the physical realm, I command you open in the name of Jesus. Amen. And every gate that has been locked against this town in the realm of the spirit, from every of the entrances and gate that lead to the town, I bind the spirit's concerns in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I declare from now on, every good thing that God has intended for this land shall come in in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ, the King of kings and the Lord of lords shall come in in the name of Jesus. Amen. And no one shall by any means be able to hold him or stop him or stop any of his activity in Ilututun and all your sorrow land in the name of Jesus. Amen. Give Jesus Christ a clap offering, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 You can have your seat. God bless you. Again, we thank God for the uh, people that we are working together to make this program a success. That is can Christian Association of Nigeria alongside with all the blocks that are under them. We thank God for their cooperation and the work is going on step by step. Today is the second day. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Can you give a round of applause for the choir? And all the Praise the Lord. God bless you more and more in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Tonight. I have some other thing I want to share with you. Yesterday we talked on something different. Today we are talking on another different thing. Tonight I want to minister to you on the power in the blood of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay. Okay, hallelujah. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. You will if you are Kejila. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. There are three things that God mentioned there that are weapons of war against the devil. He said we overcome by the blood of the Lamb. Tonight we're going to talk about that blood of Jesus. And then number two, he said we overcome by the power of testimony. And then number three, he talks about not loving your life unto death. But tonight we are talking on only one out of the three. So the Bible says we can overcome the devil and we have overcome the devil by reason of the blood of Jesus. And I will show you some things in the Bible that prove this very well for us to be able to pray tonight. Praise the Lord. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 22. Almost all things are purged with the blood. Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. And there has been a lot of things that has happened at the time past that is very king to this particular part about blood and victory. 
awon kon to po yan de ti sele ni lati eyin wa to je pe o je ni se pelu eje odaguton there is something about the blood of jesus an kon wa ni pa eje jesu even before the blood of jesus came there had been some other things that had been happening relating to blood which god established ki eje jesu to wa ati ri awon kon to sele leyin to ni se pelu eje Praise the Lord. Okay, hallelujah. John chapter 1 verse 29. Iwe Johanu ori John 1:29. Ori kini ese kon lo di ni ogbo. Pe kon lo le di ni ogbo. The Bible says when John the Baptist saw Jesus Christ coming he said, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the whole world. Bibeli so pe ni ngba ti Johanu ri Jesu to nbo, o ni ki e wo so jesus christ himself has been designated as the lamb of god that must be killed in order that all the sins of the world will be taken away revelation chapter 13 verse 8 13 verse 8 the bible says and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the lamb which was slain from the foundation of the world Hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah. The Bible is telling us something that looks like a mystery there. Bible in song ko to ja wi pe o ja oro eri oro pa mo sin ni me yen. Now the Bible has made us to understand that Jesus Christ is the lamb of God. And but we knew when he came, we knew when he died, we knew when he was crucified. Bibeli so wi pe Jesus nja ga bi odagutan ti o pa sugbon a mo ngba ti Jesus de a mo ngba ti a fi ya je a mo ngba ti apa But this place says that the lamb that has been slain from the foundation of the world sugbon ibi ti akata yin so wi pe adagutan ya ti pa lati ipinle se aye So I want to link the two Mo fe fi okun de mejeji papo bayi ka lo Genesis chapter 1 and 2 Chapter 1 and also chapter 2. God told us about the creation of the world. How he created the heavens, how he created the earth, how he created plant, how he created animal, and how he created man. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay, hallelujah. But the Bible makes us to understand that it got to a time that man that has been given authority to have dominion over all the works of the earth and over all the works of God, he lost the dominion because he submitted to the devil. Bible is testified you And that is Adam. Adam. He fell from the grace. He fell from what God has given to him as authority over human race. Praise the Lord. Okay, hallelujah. But when we get to Genesis chapter 3 verse 21. The Bible makes us to understand. In order to salvage man from the sin that man has committed, God has to find a way to solve the problem for man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. After man has sinned, the Bible says man ran away from God. And when God came to the garden and could not find man, he said, Adam, Adam, where are you? And Adam said, I hide myself from you because I have been naked. He said, who 
told you you are naked. Praise the Lord. And everything that Adam was saying was proving that Adam has lost the glory that God has given to him. But God will find a way to be able to redeem man to himself. Before that time, man has covered himself with leaves. Leaves of of uh, trees, he used them to cover himself. But when God wanted to help him, the Bible says God brought the skin of an animal. And unto Adam also, and unto his wife, did the Lord God made coats of skin and clothed them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay, hallelujah. Now I want you to read in between the line. When God brought animal skin to cover man who have sinned. You and I know that there is no way you can use animal skin to make drum except you have killed the animal. So it means that who first killed any animal in life was God. Praise the Lord. Okay, Why? Two things are going to happen. The blood of that animal will be to take away the sin of Adam and Eve. The skin of that animal will be to cover their shame. Praise the Lord. Okay, hallelujah. So that happened before Jesus Christ came to the world to die. But that blood was to represent the blood of Jesus. It was a representation of the blood of Jesus. And that was the one the Bible mentioned as the blood, the blood that has been slain. From the foundation of the world. Praise the Lord. Okay, hallelujah. And this also tells us that before the problem came, the solution has already come. Hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah. The blood of Jesus Christ now in the New Testament will do far, far better. Than what the blood of animal did. Praise Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 14. Genesis From verse 1 to verse 14. The Bible makes us to understand how Abraham and God enter into blood covenant with one another. And that covenant between Abraham and God was establishing using one animal to represent God, another animal to represent uh, Abraham. One animal killed to represent God, another one killed to represent Abraham. And then the blood of the two of them will flow together and join. Where the two join, that is where there is a blood covenant between the two of them. And that is why God will always support Israel in any battle they get involved with forever. 
Enyi orile de Israel fun gbogbo ija ton ba ge ogun to ogun ton ba gbe why they have a covenant with God almighty from their forefather Abraham tori pe o ti ni majemu pelu olorun lati baba la wo Abraham when all other nations of the world were worshipping the devil they were worshipping the living God gbogbo ti gbogbo orile de yokun ta o si orisa awo Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And then there is a covenant between Abraham and God, and it means that God will be always in support and in defense of Abraham and his generations forever. Abraham forever and ever. Now, majority of the nations of the world that know not God. They also have covenant, but their covenant is not with God. Their covenant is with demons. Now, and those animals that they kill and uh, use to represent themselves will form a covenant between them and the evil spirit that they are communicating with. And when those things happen between individuals and demons, everybody that is the children of those who make that covenant, the evil spirit will keep on following them. Praise the Lord. Okay, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay, hallelujah. And you see a lot of people are involved in negative things, but they don't know why those negatives are happening to them or what is making evil to happen to them. It has been traced to the covenant that their forefathers has made. And when you are in pain, you can see that you are not going to be able to praise the lord okay, hallelujah. Hebrew chapter 9 from verse 16 and 17 for where a testament is there must also be necessity to be the death of the testator for a testament is of force after men are dead Otherwise, it is of no strength at all why the testator is still living. Hallelujah. As you say that we have Old Testament and New Testament, the same thing you can call it Old Covenant and New Covenant. Praise the Lord. Okay, hallelujah. The way I can explain it for you to understand is when a man wants to die and he write a will and said, after my death, give this property to this person, give this one to this person, give this one to my wife, give this one to my son. He write it down, but you cannot enact it until he die. After his death, then you can distribute his property according to the way he has written down. Praise the Lord. Okay, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay, hallelujah. Why? Can you do? A will is written by a person, but a will comes to force after the death of the person. A man Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what God has written concerning you and I in the Bible is meant to be enacted and activated now according to the blood of Jesus. Now, Old Testament was blessed on the blood of animals that were used to represent God and to represent uh, uh, Abraham. New Testament was based on the blood of Jesus, which will represent both God and man. Because Jesus was both God and also man. Praise the Lord. 
to duro fun eje niyan ati eje olorun hallelujah okay hallelujah 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 now because the blood of jesus christ is not just the blood of a man it has power more than the blood of man nitori pe eje jesus kin se eje niyan laso bi eje olorun o ni agbara to n to biju and that power has ability and authority better than the blood of human being or the blood of animal hallelujah 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 you hear what i'm saying now? Now, i want you to, i want you to have this i'm taking you somewhere Gradually building something to take you to where I want to get to tonight. Momu alo si bi koli mo ve je mo so le kere 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 le de bita alo. Now, when you see people that have evil spirit power, to ba ri a wanti oni e me shu. You see that they consult some demons. They also kill some animals to be able to make some evil spirit things that they give you to go and use. Now, but I want you to understand that everything they consult and all those things they use, they have some level of power. But those powers compared to the power of the Lord Jesus Christ, the difference is too too far i will explain to you if you cut a tree blood will come out but the blood that will come out will not be red it may be white but the same way you cut it and blood come that's if you cut somebody's leg to blood will come if you cut an animal too, blood will come out. But blood pass blood. Blood is more powerful than another. Praise God. Now, if somebody use ordinary leaves to make evil spirit power, he will have some power. But if you can get somebody that use ordinary fowl, the blood of a fowl will be superior to the blood of a tree. And it told you a well as all of you feel she a barat here. A barat and it to low a dear oh my duty and it to well. Why? The blood of a uh, a fowl is stronger than the blood of the leaf. Can it it didn't wait a year a dear oh like bad you a day well. But when you use your evil spirit power with foul, the day you meet somebody that use tiger for his own devil, he will be stronger than you that use foul. But if you use foul and you use foul, you will be stronger than you that use foul. Pass blood. Now, if you are using the blood of tiger or lion, and then you meet a person that uses the blood of human being, that power will be stronger than your own. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, we have an adage that says that uh, if somebody say I'm a hunter and I hunt animal, I can even kill an elephant. The day that person meet a hunter that kill human being, he himself is a subject for killing. Praise God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? At the same time, now all this graduation of blood levels. Now when you come to us that are born again that we are in Christ. We also use blood. But we don't kill our own children to make blood. We don't kill our neighbor to make blood. We don't kill animals to make blood. We use the blood of Jesus. But the blood of Jesus is not the blood of a human being as though he's a Jew. It's not the blood of a Jew. 
Because when he was born, he was not born with the blood of Joseph. He was born by the overshadow of the Holy Spirit on Mary. All right. Now, when Holy Spirit overshadow a woman and the woman become pregnant, where did the sperm come from? And except there is a fertilization of egg, a child cannot come. So it means that whatever fertilized the egg in Mary came from above. Hallelujah. 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 Can you give Jesus a clap of praise? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I want you to get that so that you will understand that. If the blood that became Jesus inside Mary, that blood came from above because something supernatural like light was upon Mary when Mary became pregnant. The blood came from above. Now, when the child now became mature and then was given birth to and then the child grew up to age 33 and then at 33 years they kill him and then his blood now came out the blood that came out is not the blood of mary the blood that came out is not the blood of joseph the blood that came out is the blood that he got that day when he was born <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So when the blood of Jesus drop and drip from his body and reach the ground, it's another thing entirely. Far, far better than the blood of Abel. Hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah. Okay. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So when you see that a Christian is just confident and bold. <laughs> and it's not afraid of anybody. You wonder where did he get their power? It's from the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 So before I close tonight, I will tell you seven different places where the blood of Jesus Christ was shed. And each one of them has many and they are important for your deliverance, for your healing, for your salvation. Hallelujah. 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 Luke chapter 22 verse 44. The Bible says that when Jesus Christ was at Gethsemane and he was praying, he has not been crucified, he has not died, but he's praying the last prayer he will pray. Before he will become arrested and they will go and crucify him. While he was praying there, the Bible says that the prayer was so much, that the sweat was so much, and blood came out with the sweat. Mm. Praise God. Hallelujah. So that's the first place that the blood of Jesus came out. But well, let me explain some things to you about that. Scientists make us to understand that there is no way blood of human being can come out from his skin like sweat. sweat. But this one is very rare. 
Only few times does it ever happen. And they said the only place where it happened is with people who carry weight. Uh -huh. When they carry weight and they are lifting weight up, so that their muscles can be very big and all that. All right. When they do that, every human being have limits. And that's how far your power can go. The one of one person may be a little higher than another person, may be a little higher than another person, but don't go beyond your boundary or else you get into trouble. But if somebody is now lifting weight, that the weight is so heavy and is higher than his ability, there is a small vein, capillary, smallest part of vein and natural capillary. If he breaks inside because of too much exertion and too much of weight, then the blood can come out and join the sweat. Mm -hmm. And it will now mix with sweat. So now, bringing it into the Bible language now. It means that when Jesus was carrying your sin and my sin, and the sin of the whole world, that was the weight he was lifting. Oh. And the blood came out with the sweat. But Give Jesus like a clap of friends. Hallelujah. 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 But it also means something else. Any sickness that is in your body. Any sickness from your head to your toe. Anywhere you can find skin in the body, sweat can come out from skin. Our skin covers us from our head down to our toe. Now, if you are sweating, you can feel the sweat on your body. Some you can feel it on the head. Some can feel it all over the body. Sweat can come out. Every part of your body sweat can come out. Now, everywhere that blood and sweat come out from the body of Jesus Christ, any sickness that happened to you there, God can heal you. Hallelujah. 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 Are you hearing what I'm saying? So from your head to your toe. Any sickness at all. That is inside your skin. Tonight. I come based on what Jesus Christ has done on the cross of Calvary. If he has shed his blood on the cross of Calvary, and the blood came out from all over his skin, any skin disease you have, any skin disease all over your body, tonight they are going to be healed in the name of Jesus. Tonight you will receive healing there in the name of Jesus. Why? He shed his blood. So as to remove your sin and your sicknesses. I was preaching in India many years ago. Maybe 2014 or so. And then I was preaching on this subject. And I explain that any disease that is in the skin, any disease that is in the 
Jesus has paid the price on the cross of Calvary. So there is no reason why sickness should be on your skin all over. And I said people should pray to receive their healing for whatever sick skin disease they have. And there was a particular woman there in India. She was having skin disease all over the body. But because of their own type of religion over there, you cover your face as a woman. You cover your hand. You cover your leg. And then you now wear another cloth on top. So they cannot see your eyes. They cannot see your finger. They cannot see your toes. So if somebody has skin disease, you know you cannot know. Because everywhere is covered. But this woman said only her husband and herself know that he has that skin disease. But when the man of God was preaching, as we were preaching in India at that time, and this woman heard of Jesus Christ shedding blood at Gethsemane to cover any skin disease. She asks for healing for her skin disease. Praise God. Hallelujah. And God answered her prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She went to the vestry to check herself, open and check herself in women's toilet or something. And found out that every skin disease was gone. So she came to the public to come and testify that when pastor was preaching in that area, I have that same disease and I have prayed and I have checked myself already. I find out that I'm clean. Thank God for God. Tonight you will receive your portion in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I can hallelujah. Number two. I can if you look at Matthew 26, 67. The Bible says, Then did they spit in his face and buffeted him, and others smote him. With the palm of their hand, saying, Prophesy unto us, you Christ, who is he that smote you? I want to come to Toblu, I want to come to I want to come to me, 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 I want to come to me. Isaiah 50, verse 6. Isaiah 50, verse 6. The Bible says, I gave my back to the smiters. And my cheek to them that pluck off the air. I had no I hid not my face from shame and spitting. Now, so when we see it happening in the New Testament, the Bible says they slap him. But when you read it in Isaiah, Isaiah said, I gave them my cheek, they did not just slap me, they removed my beard. And then they also remove beard from the face. Now, if you slap somebody and yank off the beard, surely blood will come out. Hallelujah. 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 So when you hear that some spit on him, some slap him. It's not small slap. It's a slapping that remove beard from the face. Face. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is number two. Anything that the devil is bringing to hard shame to you, God will remove it today in the name of Jesus. Anything the devil is bringing to your life to bring shame, God will remove it in the name of Jesus. When you see a woman that is an adult and is already at marriageable age, but is still bedwetting, that's shame. And now that means the devil doesn't want that person to ever have anybody to desire her that's why she gave something of shame to her some have skin problems that it is shameful some have shapes and faces that is shameful some have characters and disease in their body that is shameful whatsoever it is that the devil has brought to you jesus will heal you tonight in the name of jesus hallelujah 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 matthew 27 verse 29 from verse 29 to 30. Let us say, Keta Dini Ogbo, see us here Ogbo. 27 from 29 to 30. Let us say, Keta Dini Ogbo. And when they had plated a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head, and they read in his right hand, and they bowed their knee before him, and mocked him, saying, Hail him, King of the Jews. And some spit on him, and some took reed and smote him on the head, so that the crown can enter. But what if we say a dear go or if it's only or one is here or one ye go or by our Jew our own bag in here a dear go here or by my lady or by the world that that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you hear of crown of thorns, you may not understand very well. I will explain. I will use two things to explain. One, if you know barbed wire, fence round. You know it has a lot of spikes and all that around it. If it is possible to now use uh, uh, what electricians use, a plier or whatever, to hold it and make it look round, round, round. And then you now put that on somebody's head. And you now use... Uh, club or whatever stick to bang it so it can enter the head very well definitely it will enter the skull and when he enters the skull blood will come out hallelujah 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 that's for those who are educated for those who are not educated there is a particular tone a thorn that we have in the bush in my own language they call it a if you have shoes or you have sandal or slippers and you step on it it will enter your slippers it will enter and still prick you inside and at times you can find it like this all in a place so if you mistakenly step it ay, 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 ay. <laughs> now that kind of thing if you now bring it together and use it as a as a a, a, a crown and you bang it on somebody's head <laughs> and bang it in very well so definitely blood will come out from all parts of it. now why is that why will god allow all these things well the bible says, by his stripes we are healed 
Everything they did to him, it is to heal us from one sickness or the other. So if there is somebody that the devil has put an enchantment on your head to make you mad or to make your mind go not. Now, because Jesus Christ has received thorns on his head, the blood of Jesus will deliver your head from that blood problem. Because of what Jesus Christ received on his head, whatever they are put on your head, God will shift it up in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They may have done that in order to make you go not. Your head is not where you are not seeing things right. You are misbehaving because something happens to your head. Tonight I pray for you. That thing will be shifted and your head will become normal in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There are people that have been a little educated and they have understanding. They are very good in class. But the devil came and exchange their head for another person's head so that the person will no more be brilliant but his own child will become brilliant today god will return your head back to normal in the I name of jesus hallelujah John chapter 19 verse 1. John 19 verse 1. The Bible says that they scourged him by stripes and uh, it, was, it was given as a punishment for Jesus Christ. They said they should go and beat him. So, But the Bible used the word he was scourged. Let me bring, bring it from John 19.1. And then Pilate therefore took Jesus and scourged him. And the soldiers planted a crown of thorns and put it on his head. And they put it on him, purple robe. But I want you to underline the word, they scourged him. Now, what do you mean by scourge? Now, the way we beat people here is probably you slap the person, don't do this thing again, or you use cane. And by that cane, you can give, give me your hand. You give him one, two, three. That's all we know here. But this one, maybe the people in the north, they will know it better. Because they have something called Koboko. It is made of leather, animal skin. And it can have one handle and have about three, four, five hairs. Now, that is the kind of what they used to beat Jesus. But that's not enough. They also yeah, put some yeah. things inside, like stones or nails or something like metals, oh. so that it will make it more wicked. Now, when they use that and they put it on a table that is made with wood and they remove it, it will ship some part of the table away. Now, so when they use that one on a human body, and they tie the hand so that he will not be able to. <laughs> then they will now give him one, and it will go round his body, and then they pull it. 
uh, 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 by the time they pull it a lot of the skins will have been removed so that's how they beat jesus christ 39 times because usually people can't go up to 40 before they die that's why they said the maximum you can give people is 40 minus 1 39 and they will be giving you all over the body if you look at the kind of jesus that people draw and they say that's jesus on the cross it looks like jesus is smiling very nice but they didn't they don't understand what happened to jesus praise the lord hallelujah when you take that kind of thing all over your body your face is mad your body is mad every part of the body is thread like somebody used blade to cut all your body now why will god allow that so that any part of your body that there is sickness tonight you'll be free from them in the name of jesus because by his Strife, you are healed. Hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah. Again, Mark chapter 15, verse 15. Mark or The Bible says that they nail his hands to the cross. The Bible is they also nail his legs to the cross and also before they nail the head uh, the hand and the legs the bible also said that he carried the cross from the center of the town to the outskirts of the town golgotha and that thing was hitting shoulders because it's so long that the leg is touching the ground and is carrying it on the back so as it's moving the weight was making it to hit the shoulders from one side to the other why by his stripes you are healed so anything that the devil has put on your shoulders every bondage on your shoulders every demonic bondage on your neck tonight god will remove them in the name of jesus what nails your hand that you can never use your hand to do something good god will remove it in the name of jesus what they have used to load your leg so that you go move into the right places you enter into trouble all the time god will remove that in the name of jesus every area the enemy has brought evil to you god is going to repay with good tonight in the name of jesus amen and then when he was on the cross the thief on the right side the thief on the left side has been killed they broke their legs so they can die quickly but the people have said that the bones of jesus shall not be broken so even though jesus christ have died they wanted to break the bones but somebody suggested let's first of all pierce his body to see whether he has actually died or not and the roman soldiers they always do that they have a way of testing people whether they are dead or they are alive because at times you shoot somebody but he has not died at times you shoot somebody and he dies immediately so they have a way of testing them 
whether they have died or they are still alive. Because they are going to test whether Jesus Christ was alive or dead. So a person that is on the horse now took a spear and pierced the body of Jesus oh, Christ on the cross. Oh, it entered to the ribs. And then pull out again. Oh, now, if I tell you something like that and I don't describe, you may think that spear is like a needle. Hmm. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Okay, but it's something that has stick or iron to hold it, but the head is like a triangle. And that head that's like a triangle, the base of the triangle is half a foot, six inches. Yeah. Okay, Praise the Lord. Okay, hallelujah. So when something like that enter body and then come out, it will tear the place and blood will come out. Okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But why did they have to do that? If all your physical body has been healed, what of if you have heart problem? lungs problem liver problem kidney problem womb problem those ones they have not received any latches because they are inside but so that inside things can be healed outside things can be healed the blood has to come from inside also Hallelujah. 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 Can somebody give Jesus Christ a clap of break? Hallelujah. 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 Are you hearing me tonight? I have a friend. When we were together in school, he knows how to drink. Be a more than all of us. Oh, more team, Hallelujah. Although his father is a reverend, reverend is a pastor. But he's the one that knows how to drink more than all of us. Before we got born again. So, but then uh, later in life, I found out that. Uh, I asked some of the family members, what about my friend, your brother? They said, ah, he has been looking for work a long time, but he has gotten a very good job now. I said, where? They said, he's working in the beauty. I know this person can drink very well. Because when we take one one bottle, he used to take a cut and he will put his leg and they'll be removing it one by one, one by one. <laughs> So now, if this person has not gotten a job and you said he has gotten a very good job now, we are in the beauty. I know the devil want to kill him. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Why? If you are working in the building, you are free to drink anything. You cannot take it outside the gates. But when you are in the building, in the industry uh, you are free to drink anything if my friend that can drink very well has now gotten a job in the beauty hey! i know that the devil is planning to kill this guy so i didn't see him 
But I kept on praying for him. Because me, I'm already born again. But I know that that job is not a good job for this So it took a long time before the two of us we meet again. The day we met, and I asked him, uh, I heard that you are working in so-so place. He said, ah, I'm no more working there. <laughs> he said, I almost died, though. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? He said he has liver sclerosis. His liver became big because of the drinking, drinking, drinking. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, if we have physical body outside that God can heal you of any problem in your body, what about problem in your liver, problem in your lungs, problem of the heart, problem of the kidney? Tonight, anywhere you are having sickness in all those areas, God will heal you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stand up on your feet. We are praying tonight. We want to talk to God tonight. I like you to be very bold with your requests. Ask God properly what you want God to do for you tonight. Jesus Christ has died on the cross of Calvary for and for me. Because we were all sinners before we met him. But when we met him, he changed our life. And after he has changed our life, he healed our bodies. So we can serve him for many years. The devil make people to sin so that they cannot last for long. If you keep sinning, the Bible said the soul that sinned shall die. But you may sin today and you don't die today. But since the day you started sinning, you have started dying. So if you now did not come to Jesus Christ for him to save you the way you are dying with your sin dying with your sin it will make you to quickly die before others praise God Hallelujah. and it will be faster than he expected because uh, you didn't stop sinning hallelujah Hallelujah. 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 I have a lot of friends that were together before I got born again. But majority of them today they are no more alive. Hallelujah. There's no way you can live a reckless life and last. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But tonight I want you to talk to God. I want you to talk to God. Jesus has finished the job on the cross of Calvary. In order for you to be saved, to be healed, to be delivered. But you have to accept him as your Lord and Savior. If you reject him, he will not be able to deliver you. But if you can accept him, he has the power to deliver you from all trouble. Tonight, we are together here for day two of the program. Some people have gotten some blessings yesterday. But you are here tonight. And tonight is your own night. Before I pray for you, I'd like to give you opportunity to accept him as your Lord and Savior. Anybody that is sinning and keep on sinning, I told you he will die faster than his time. 
But if you want to last long, you have to give Jesus your life. He will redeem you from your wasted years and make your life to be better in your future. The time you have wasted and the time you have wasted in the past, God can still redeem them back for you. Provided you give him the opportunity to learn. I want us to pray. I want to pray for you. I want to pray with you. I want God to, be, to come into your heart, to come into your life and change you and make you a new person. Because Jesus Christ is knocking at the heart of everyone like knocking at the door. But he will not force himself. It's only those who allow him that he will enter into their life. But if you have sin in your life, there's no way you can enter except you welcome him to save your soul. Until you allow Jesus to enter. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus fell. She go and she lo mu yapa wa. Ko dagbe refreshe. Ko le ma bo she fell. Jesus love you. I want you to give us that song while the people, anyone that want to accept Jesus as his Lord and Savior is free tonight to come to the front. You have to come and meet us here. I'm going to pray with you. Thank you, Jesus. I'm waiting for you. And God is waiting for you. Just you know, Come over, come over here, come over here. Take a step to the Lord. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. God bless you. Oh, I 
Nubu ya tawa Yadere peshe Wole mwapo chuta Bala ure laja Wole roju ure la Sumana ure Ala kole suta Ukara ya Nubu ya tawa Yadere peshe Wole mwapo chuta Hallelujah. I will give you another opportunity. Before I pray for them. You only have tonight. Nobody knows tomorrow. The rich, they die. The poor, they die. The young, they die. The old, they die. But the difference between the two is that where are you going after your death? You only have today as the day of salvation. You don't know tomorrow. Hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah. And the Bible says, anytime you hear the word of God, don't harden your heart. Because if you do, you miss your opportunity. And I don't want you to miss your opportunity. This is what God has brought to Elututun for seven days. <laughs> I don't want the seven days to come and go and your life still remain the same. If one sin is still in your life, you don't need two to take you to hell. One is enough. But you may say that all other ones, I don't do this, them again. Only this one is troubling me. Only oh, she but it's because you do not have power over that one. Tonight, God will give you the power of go and sin no more. But you have to give him the opportunity. So I'm going to count one to ten. By the time I finish, if you are not here, that means you don't want Jesus. And that one sin may not be the reason why you won't make it. I pray that will not be your case in Jesus. Name. So before I pray for them, I give you the opportunity. You know you need victory over that. I want you to join them now before I pray. Wherever you are hearing me, anywhere, whether on the field or outside the field, anywhere, and you know one sin is still in your life that can destroy you. Tonight is your night. I will only count one to ten. Every one of us, let's stand up. As we all begin to pray, to be able to help them to make this decision for God. One, respect you. You know you are supposed to be here. Just rush to this place. Don't waste our time. Two, 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 two. Three. One day, one day. Four. 
Five. Six. Seven. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. Wherever you are. One sin is enough. But you will not allow one sin to disturb you from making you. Seven, eight. Thank you, Jesus. Nine. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wherever you are, if where you are coming from is far, I will wait for you, but I want to start praying for them now. Make sure you join us before I finish. Place your hand on your chest, those of you in front. And say the following words after me. Lord Jesus. Jesus. Say it loud and mean it from your heart. Lord Jesus, Jesus Uluwa, I come to you tonight. I ask you to watch my sins. I know you died for me on the cross of Calvary. And you shed your blood to remove my sins. Tonight, I come to you cross my name from the book of sins write my name in the book of life make me a member of your family the bible says anyone that accepts Jesus as his Lord and Savior we are given the power to become sons of God today I want to become your son I don't want to be a son of the devil tonight give me a new beginning and this particular sin that always trouble my life tonight tonight give me victory over it in the name of Jesus Father in the name of Jesus every spirit of sin and spirit of iniquity I bind you in the name of Jesus every sin that easily make them to fall and rise fall and rise all the time I bind that spirit in the name of Jesus tonight I ask that God will give you the power of victory over sin in the name of Jesus thank you heavenly father in Jesus' name we pray. Give Jesus a clap offering somebody. You are not clapping very well. Give Jesus a clap offering. Hallelujah. 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 Now I want you to go to that side. Somebody should be there. Somebody is raising up his hand. Now you write your name there. There is something I brought for you. They will give you. Free of charge, they will give you free. Write your name down there so I can continue to pray for you. Hallelujah. Let's give Jesus a clap of friends. You can do better than that. You can do better than that. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to give us some time before I pray for those who need healing on their body. Can we join them there? Can we join them there so as to make it faster? Writing the name and giving them whatever they need to give them. Because once I start to pray for the sick, this place, other people will want to join. 
More hands are needed over there. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Okay, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, anyone that have any sickness in your body tonight. I want to pray for you. You know what I told you Jesus Christ has done for us on the cross of Calvary. And tonight is the opportunity for you to receive your own. I am not the healer. Jesus is the healer. And he has finished everything that you need about your healing. But mine is point of contact. If there is electricity in the house, but you don't switch it on, it will remain dark. But when you switch it on, it is just to connect two wires. When the two wires are connected, the, the, the light will come. When we pray for you, it is to enact what God has already done on the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's rise up on our feet tonight. You have any sickness in your body? And you don't want to go home with it. I'd like you to come to the front. I'm going to pray with you. Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to pray with you. And something will happen in your life tonight. Amen. Don't let us waste time. That's why we are here. We call it Ilutonton Healing Crusade. That's okay. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Many years ago, I went to preach in Benin. And uh, it was not a crusade. It was a program organized by Foursquare. And then I was to represent my father and the Lord to preach for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And um, when I call for people that need healing, like I call for you today. There are some people I call out because I mention what was wrong with them. So I said that there's somebody that something is running on your head as if it's madness, but uh, when you come, I pray God will remove it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And people came out and I was praying for them. Praying for them. I touched them. What's your own case? What's your case? I touched them. When I got to this person, I wanted to pray for him. So I asked, What is your case? He was just looking at me, he couldn't talk. 
But the person that is at the back said the one you said about. Okay, okay, okay. So I just got lay hand on him and then move to the other person. Hallelujah. But on Saturday, that was on Thursday. On Saturday, people now came to give testimony. And then a pastor now came up and said that the person I prayed for that said something to me, it was 15 years madness. Only anything and they brought the case to the pastor and God told the pastor take it to where you are having program in Benin so he brought the person to uh, Benin from their village and then the family of the person also followed them to Benin but said after that Thursday, the person has become okay. Give Jesus Christ a clap. And he went back home. The family were happy. Everybody was rejoicing back at home. And Why am I giving that testimony tonight? I didn't pray for him better than I pray for anybody because I did not know it was 15 years madness. Me, Badura to Dora Yato, to be out there, Dumaru Dogu, to be me, Morara. Maybe if I know, Beati Mobamo, I would have prepared very seriously. Where are you, Mamma? My year pass or make him believe Badura Dada. But you see, it's not you that heal people, it is God. It's the power of God. So I just placed my hand on him like if it is headache. I didn't know it is madness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That woman touched the hem of the garment of Jesus. And that was all. 12 years problem was removed like that. When I taught you tonight, it is not my hand. It's an extension of the hand of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I've described for you wherever the sickness is, whether head or inside or outside, anywhere it will disappear in the name of Jesus. I'd like you to begin to talk to God now. Whatever the problem is in your body. Tonight, as soon as hands are laid on you, the problem will disappear in the name of Jesus. So begin to pray. Talk to God. I don't know your problem. Talk Mention it to God. Because God is here tonight. God has set down in the little tomb for seven days. And tonight is the second night. Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. Don't mind anybody that is around you. Maybe the person around you does not come for healing. But you came to receive something from Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Talk to Jesus. Talk to the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, we say. I want you to pray very seriously. Talk to God. God is already healing body chests. Yeah, yeah. By the chest here, by the left hand here. God is already touching you wherever the problem. Is. The half of your body, half of the this, the right, the left. The left breast. God is healing you there right now, right now. Right now. Hallelujah. Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. 
Thank you, Jesus. Yes, we will say. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Got... Hallelujah. 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 That sickness will disappear from your body in the I name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You are not praying, you are looking at other people. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. In the name of In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, spirits shall hear me, they shall fade away from their hiding places. In the name of Jesus, spirit of sickness and disease, I command you, get out in the name of Jesus. Spirit of madness, I command you, get out in the name of Jesus. Spirit of sickness of the head, I command you, stop in the name of Jesus. The spirit of blindness, the spirit of deafness, get out in the name of Jesus. Every internal organ, heart problem, liver problem, kidney problem, I command you, get out in the name of Jesus. Blood problem, I command you, cease in the name of Jesus. Problem inside your womb and inside your tummy, I command you get out in the name of Jesus. Every problem with your bone and your tissue and tendon, I command you get out in the name of Jesus. From the top of your head to the sole of your feet, they receive your healing now. They restored now. They restored now. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed, be healed, be healed. Be healed, be healed, be healed. Be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed. Once I touch you, you can go. Iso tabe riko tori an ragabo shara kadaya. Keto supra lian reke Be healed, be healed, be healed. Be healed, be healed, be healed. Be healed, be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed, 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 be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed, 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 be healed. Be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed, 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 be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed, be healed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Give Jesus a clap of somebody. Hallelujah. 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 H